Hey kids. All right, got a bonus video for you today. This one is a book that I actually wrote myself. So I really love reading um, to my class. And uh, when we were home during COVID, it was not a problem to just read whatever you wanted to the students because whatever we were reading in class, sometimes they weren't able to join the call. And so I really kind of missed having everybody there. And it was nice to be able to record what we were reading and studying in class. But um, now that we're kind of back to normal, I uh, am going to read you something that I wrote myself. And you can tell because it's like super <laughs> ancient looking. It used to be a big quilted book and then it was like taking up too much space in the shelf. So I took out all the quilting, but this book is called Firefighter Dad. Why am I reading it today? Well, I'll tell you why. Because, uh, during the course of being home with everybody, um, I had the opportunity to hear what was happening in other people's homes. And so during some conferences, I was meeting with parents and I hear this little chirp, chirp. And of course, you know what that is. It's the super annoying fire alarm smoke detector uh, that needs batteries replaced. And I was like, well, I have a book for that. Um, anyway, so let me read you this book and you'll see why uh, fire prevention and fire safety is so, so important. So share this with everybody uh, you can because it's really important. So um, I did write the book and do all the pictures myself. <laughs> uh, don't laugh, but uh, they it was a lot of fun. I did it in my teacher prep program. And so, woo, woo, and you can kind of get the idea. Firefighter dad. And I have all the copyright stuff that is also mine. And we'll begin. So here we go. Hi, my name is Lori. I was born and raised here in California. A little sticky note. And uh, turn the page. Don't really need to see me. Is the important stuff. I have many relatives that live here too, but the one I want you to meet is my dad. He's a firefighter. I did my best for likeness. He goes to lots of emergencies and helps put out fires. When he comes home after a 24 hour shift, he tells my family about the fires he saw and teaches us how to be safe and avoid fires at home. No lie. Like he would tell us about all the crazy fires and how they started. And he was a fire marshal too. So he had a lot of experience with, um, you know, investigations and that type of thing. Great job though, being a firefighter. Uh, this is the front view of what used to be uh, the smoke detectors. And since I wrote this book back in 1998, <laughs> I'm trying not to date myself here. Uh, this is what they would look like. They still look a lot like this, um, but now you can get them to like hook into your electric system and so you don't have to use batteries. But anyway, dad says that one way to discover a fire before it hurts you is to use smoke detectors. A smoke detector smells smoke and makes a loud noise to let people know there is smoke in the house. Usually when there's smoke, there's fire. There it is, making the loud sound. It's so loud. And sometimes people will forget that they put something on the stove and they walk away. And then it can get very hot and it's super dangerous. You have to really watch it when you're cooking. And this is the back view. Don't forget, smoke detectors need batteries to run. So change the batteries when the detector makes a short beep signal or once a year, whichever comes first, a smoke detector could save a life or the lives of a family. It's such a simple thing and it's so important. And this is the back view and it has a little battery door and you can just slip the battery in. They usually take like a nine volt, it's the kind of rectangular one. One thing that makes my dad happy is that no one in my family smokes cigarettes or cigars. Dad has seen many house fires that started from people smoking in bed. Sometimes these people fall asleep in bed while smoking. 
we can see what's happening here. Ah, what a great show. Oh, it's so much fun. You're having a really good time. But for a while, you might get tired. The lit cigarette or cigar could easily catch the linens on fire, and people often die when this happens. Just can't get out, and the smoke will get you before the fire does sometimes. Smoke inhalation is a really scary problem. Dad also says to always keep packages and other flammable things away from space heaters, fireplaces, and furnaces. These can get really hot and might catch your things on fire. So, for example, um, if you have a house where you have uh, this heating vent where the heat comes up from below, that can, if you have like tissue papers and thin papers that are easily caught on fire, um, don't put things like papers and stuff on your heating vent. Keep it clear. Keep things away. One Christmas, Dad saw a family's home burn down because they put their Christmas shopping bags down on their furnace. The heater turned on when they weren't there, and their home burned down. Very, very sad. My dad doesn't like candles very much because they can be so dangerous. If you use candles, always use a fireproof candle holder. Also, keep candles away from drapes where a draft might blow the drape into the flame. A friend of mine lost all of her things in a fire like this. She should have listened to my dad. True story, all true stories. Sometimes when I tell the kids, oh my gosh, I have a story for you. They're like, woo, and they sit down very quietly because I do, I have a lot of stories, all true. You should be prepared for a fire emergency by having an escape route plan and a place to meet and to make sure everyone in your family is safe. Practice fire drills regularly. We just had a fire drill at school. And what it is is you just find a different place to go that's not in the building and you have this meeting place that's prearranged and you can do this with your home too. Meet at a neighbor's or in front of somebody's or a safe place down the street if you have a relative or someone close by. It's very important to do that. If you ever have a fire in your house, get out fast. Stay low and crawl quickly to the nearest exit. You know, heat rises. That's something we learn in fifth grade. Heat rises. So does smoke. So if you want to be safe and try to get out, get low and crawl. Do not try to take personal belongings with you. You may not get out in time. Your clothing, it's not worth it. I know you think photo albums are very important, and, and they are. They're like a one-of-a-kind thing. But don't, money, everything is replaceable, but you are not replaceable. Once you are safely outside, make sure someone calls 911 and tells the fire department to come. When the firefighters arrive, stay out of the way so they can try to quickly put the fire out. Stay out of the way. Notice, standing off to the side. Don't get in their way, okay? Hopefully, you'll never have to experience this, but I know it happens. I'm glad my dad is a firefighter. He has taught my family many helpful things to keep our home safe from fire, and I hope you can learn from him too. True, I really do. So the end, that's the end of my book that I wrote, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you would like, uh, I can make more of these videos. I have some. I have another book that I wrote about science, and uh, and I can read that one to you next time. This is just kind of a bonus. I know most of what I have on my channel is math, um, but man, there's a lot of stuff I would like to put on my channel. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll catch you on the next video. Be safe. Bye for now.